production, enrichment and bottling of biogas as auto fuel. Disposal of seed cake of Jatropha amounting approximately 70% of Jatropha feed and being toxic in nature is one of the problems being faced by biodiesel producers across the world. An initiative by PCRA and CMERI is now helping not only with safe disposal of these seed cake but utilization as a profitable resource. Use of de-oiled cake of Jatropha as a feedstock for biogas production, adding it with 70% quantity of cattle dung and comparatively less water not only helps in environment-friendly disposal of this toxic waste but actually generates fairly good amount of fuel gas with nominal cost. Because of the residual oil and the high protein content of the oil cake, its calorific value is much greater than that of other kind of biomass like cereal grains, rhizomes, tubers or cattle wastes. Using seed cakes as feedstock has advantages on several accounts like more fuel production of enriched quality with more calorific value, having lower feed requirement and thereby offering five times less payback period without much increase in setting up costs. This 6 meter cubic per day biogas plant has been designed and developed specifically to be operated on de-oiled cake of Jatropha and with optimum gas production could be utilized for household cooking and lighting purpose, production of electricity by running gensets as well as running engines etc. The energy produced per day is lucrative in economical terms too. Furthering the benefits, the residue of the biogas plant after drying can be sold as high quality compost. Using the biogas as vehicular fuel can go a long way for sustainable income generation for its producer as well as increasing the energy security of our nation in view of its dependence on fossil fuel imports. For this, biogas needs to undergo enrichment to increase the percentage of methane up to 95% before and bottling equivalent to CBG. Enriched biogas in scrubber done through the easiest and cheapest method involving the use of pressurized water as an absorbent. To facilitate physical absorption of CO2 in water at high pressures, the contact time of the gas with water is increased using counter current mechanism. In this method, water is made to flow from the top to bottom and raw biogas from bottom to top. The amount of CO2 being dissolved in water is optimized by increasing time of contact between biogas and water as well as high pressure. The process enriches biogas by increasing methane percentage to desired level. Enriched biogas thus obtained is made moisture free by passing through filters. Afterwards, it is compressed up to 200 bar pressure using a three-stage gas compressor and stored in high-pressure steel cylinder as used for CNG. One 100 meter cubic per day biogas bottling plant can fill eight cylinders of 6 kilogram capacity per day. With this production capacity every year, one plant can supply to meet energy demand equivalent to 17,520 liters of petrol or diesel. There's a large potential of this technology in buses, tractors, cars, auto rickshaws, irrigation pump sets and rural industries etc. With such widespread application and production capacity sufficient to replace fuel worth approximately 9 lakh of rupees annually, the installation cost of one enriching and bottling plant can be recovered in less than 3 years. The use of Jatropha seed cakes in biogas plant as well as enriching and bottling of biogas not only ensures prosperity of the entrepreneurs but also dole out fiscal benefits to the country and environmental benefits to the world. <laughs>